Hi folks, this is Max. Welcome to another World Close video. So today I'm going to show you how to build this flow that you see right now. And what it does is that when a user is assigned to an application, that user will be notified uh, via email that, hey, um, you now have access to, to this application. Now I covered this, um, I have a video where I cover the template. So there's a template that you can import. Um, just I cover how the template works, but today I'm going to show you how to build this, uh, this flow from, from the beginning, right? Uh, but this is how it looks. Um, let me just quickly go over it and then we'll start building it. So first, uh, we have the event, you can see user assigned to application. So when that happens, the flow will be triggered. Uh, we get details about the user. We get the first name and the email. Then we compose the message and then we send the message. All right. So let's, um, let's build this. Let me go back here and I'm going to create a new flow and let's give it a name. So send email and user signed to your application, application. And we can use this as a description and we're going to enable this. Again, this is good for when we test the flow. All right. Now, so again, the event we're going to use is when user assigned to an application, and that's going to be in the from the Okta. And then we can search here. Uh, here, right here. So user assigned to application, right? So again, this is what's going to trigger the flow. Now we need to make a few quick settings here. Uh, we're going to say no. And now the application that um, so you need you do need to select an application for which uh, to for which this flow works. So in our case, I have Salesforce. I'm going to use Salesforce. And then this is the instance, all right? So again, if you do need to uh, say for which application. All right. Um, so next, we are going to get details about the user. And this is going to be Okta again. And this is um, read. So read user. Now, actually it has a lot of fields, but we actually don't need all this stuff. So I'm just gonna uncheck. And what we do need is we need the first name and the primary email, all right? Now we need to map the user ID. And so for that, I'm going to scroll right here. So Okta user, I'm gonna take the ID and pass it to this card, all right? All right, now next we're going to use compose. All right, and then this is the this is the message. So I'm gonna say hello, and we can take the name, map it like this. Say great news. You now have access to and now the application let's see here. Um, can say this take this application all right so that's that's the message and then the last step is we're going to use uh, gmail oh sorry i need to delete this so gmail and then send okay. wrong one click too fast send email and so the two is the primary email. The message is right here. Now the subject, what we can do is we can actually use the same, the application display name, all right? Um, and we're almost done. Now, one thing I, um, I wanna mention is that, um, so right here again, I have a connection to, to a Gmail um, sort of instance, right? So you do need to, to do that via new connection. So again, if you're gonna do this for the first time, you do need to create a connection to Gmail. And same thing with Okta. So I do have a connection to an Okta here, okay? So again, if you're gonna do this for the first time, you will need to set up a connection. But once you have it, it's you don't need to do it, of course. Uh, and you can also have multiple connections if you would like. Um, all right, well, I think that's it. So let me save, right, I think. 
This looks all good. All the mappings are here. Let's save. All right. And let's turn this on. Here we go. Let's see. All right. So now it's on. So I'm gonna go. Um, now I'm gonna go to my Okta dashboard, and I'm gonna take a user and assign an application to them, right? And then we're gonna see if the email uh, will be sent. So let's go to flow history. Now it's gonna be empty. Now the person I have here is. So let me go back to directory people. So I have a few people here, and I'm gonna select Stella Green. And I'm gonna assign application, and then assign. And done. All right, so I sign an application. Um, it could take a few seconds uh, sometimes for this, for the flow to, to be triggered. Um, but let's go back and see here. Oh, actually, it was a lot faster. Um, so we can see there's one execution. And we can see, so the, this is the event information. And then we retrieve the Stella. That's the email. And then we send the email. And now if I go here, let's see here, it should this should refresh. And here we go. This is the email. If I click on it, this is the email. Yep, this is the email that the user uh, would would receive. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's all I wanted to show you. So um, Again, I think this is a great example. If you're just starting with workflows, uh, this is definitely uh, uh, a good example or a good flow to um, to start with. Um, you know, it has a Okta event uh, that triggers the flow. Uh, it uses um, two more steps to read the user, to create the message, and then to send an email. All right. So I hope this was useful. Um, as always. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.